Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. We're going to have a look at whether the day 14 days for today's fourth video. Day 10 will take us to the 4th of uh, April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SHGFS and ECM ensembles. We're going to try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video. So the next four weeks that will get us into the second half of April and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video today was 6 a.m. upload. We've also released if that wasn't enough, we can broadcast and the um, season one round at first summer 2023 season one round at getting 15 1 5 long range ones together from the World League Broadcast Centre. See what will change for summer 2023 for only the uh, first time this season. So please check out all of those vids if you'd like to see that. Like, share, and subscribe on the videos. And thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. We've got an Easter update coming up for you uh, this evening. We're beginning the Easter countdown here at Gaz Weather Vids, so that will be on the way. Um, probably around 6, or 6 is something like that, I would have thought. Okay, are you having a lovely Saturday? Wow, 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 wow. And uh, let's crack on with your tent of all team there. So we're going to start off with the central England temperature. The uh, CT is uh, currently sitting at 6.4, which is 0.8 of a degree above the 61 to 90, 90 average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 24th of March. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles that go to London today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off about average at the moment. We're going to have a cold snap coming up uh, later weekend into early next week. Then the middle of next week turns much milder and also unsettled though. And then uh, end of next week into the first weekend of April drop in temperature could turn quite chilly again, uh, and then hovering close to average through the first week into the second week of April, although with a lot of scatter, mild ensemble metals up here, cooler or colder ensemble metals down there. It looks unsettled as well, so we've got some very wet weather to come tonight across much of southern England. Kind of drier day, Sunday and Monday, uh, and then we're back into uh, wetter weather through most of next week. I'm probably saying unsettled even into the second week of April. Temperature normally shall be 25th of from the 25th uh, of March to 2nd of April are about average, a little bit below up in the north, a little bit above down in the south, not a particularly d big deviation. Anyway, look how cold it is for Scandinavia though in the, uh, in the week ahead, so uh, very cold up there, but we're on the periphery of that, so uh, a little bit below from the north, a little bit above the for the south, not particularly big deviation, and uh, precipitation and knowledge from the 25th of March, 2nd of April, they're coming out average to wetter than all away from the far northeast structure, anyway, where it is a little bit drier. Latest wind from that from Earth, no school dot net shows we've got winds from various directions today, so we're putting in some colder air actually into the far north and northeast now. That will push south across the country tomorrow, but we've got another area of low pressure just here and around that. We've got milder winds from the south and from the southwest into more southern parts of uh, the country. So, uh, winds from various directions there in, uh, in, uh, at the moment today. But tomorrow, the normally wind will push down across the country. Right, going through to chart data then. This is how the uh, latest you can make your run. It's looking big night on Monday and on uh, Midnight Church today. at a ridge of high pressure, low pressure out in the Atlantic. Low pressure coming in off the Atlantic through next week to be increasingly unsettled, but also mild with spells of rain looking very unsettled by the time we get through to this time next week. This is April Fool's Day, 1st of April. As we get to the UK, met deep low over the top of the country. Uh, no sign of anything particularly sustained, settled in uh, terms of weather with that. Uh, I can again, a little rich of high pressure just weekly away over like Monday to Tuesday, low pressure off the Atlantic Tuesday to Wednesday, and then we're off and running into very unsettled weather through next week with that uh, low pressure bringing further spells away. I can is trying to raise pressure over Scandinavia and pull cold air back in again <laughs> to the north and the east um, by the 1st of April. The GFS Midnight Run once more with uh, low pressure in from Atlantic breaking down this ridge of high pressure. So looking increasingly unsettled actually as uh, we're going uh, through next week. Low pressure in plenty of wet weather. That low looks very vigorous. I pointed that out on weekend forecast. That low there looks very vigorous just to the south overnight Thursday 
into Friday. That could be one to watch for uh, severe gales and heavy rain. Uh, into the first weekend of April, again, today's unsettled low pressure around the country. It will be quite chilly uh, as well with those areas of low pressure on the cold side of the jet stream with that. Uh, day 10 looks like that, trying to get a bit of a ridge building from the southwest to get things a bit milder. But notice high pressure building again over Greenland and Iceland. And just beyond day 10, actually running up towards Easter, we start to pull down a colder northerly wind again. Look at the upper air temperature bringing minus 10 Celsius iceberg back into Scotland. So uh, that's Maundy Thursday, the 6th of April, looking uh, just beyond day 10, looking very unsettled and cold. We've got blocking area of high pressure around green and ice and low pressure is in the Baltic Sea. And uh, in between, we bring in that cold north northeast. That carries on to Good Friday, 7th of April. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> beyond that, just settle down over the Easter weekend, but it's cold. There will be overnight frost. I suppose in the April sunshine, it wouldn't feel too bad. Um, but quite a cold Easter there with the GFS midnight run. Uh, GFS 6 then. We'll have an Easter, uh, proper Easter update for you this evening. Uh, GFS 6 then. Again, with low pressure breaking down the ridge on Tuesday, bringing wet and milder weather in from off the Atlantic. Uh, rest of next week looking very unsettled. That area of low pressure, uh, 13 to Friday is one to watch. Things are wet, plenty. Bring some very heavy rain and gale force winds. That clears away into the first weekend of April. Saturday the 1st, this time next week, pulls in a colder north or northeast of uh, again, uh, then a high pressure which is through the country in quite chilly air uh, around day 9 and 10. And then beyond that, more low pressure punching through from off the Atlantic as we're running up towards Easter. Again, similar idea, this is Maundy Thursday, 6th of April, and the winds are in from a cold north or northeast. He's wretched up red temperatures look cold then. Uh, that's Good Friday again. <coughs> Excuse me, again, northerly or northeast winds. Looking cold and uh, you know not very spring like. Uh, that sees a Saturday to uh, good uh, to back on Monday. It's a Monday. High pressure is gradually building through the country. At least that brings dry weather. It's a bit on the chilly side, I would have thought, but you know it's not a washout anyway on either of these uh, GFS runs. But as I say, we will be having a look at ESA in detail. Uh, a little bit later this evening. If you enjoyed the video, then please if you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing about. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Levy. Thank you so very much everyone uh, for doing about. We need to put on around 13, that's sort of one free subscribers to get ourselves to uh, 16 15.7k uh, so if you could give us a sub then it'll be absolutely amazing thank you so much everyone uh for doing that gm showing uh, high pressure collapsing on tuesday with uh, low pressure in from off the atlantic through next week bringing spells of rain wet windy and pretty mild uh, as well but next weekend turns cooler again so low pressure moves way to the east we start to bring some cooler winds back in from uh the northwest we head up toward day 10 I've got high pressure to our door, bringing the wind from a chilly easy direction with low pressure to the west and to the south. So unsettled and increasingly cool uh, up to around day 10 there. And then the ECM looks like that. All much of much is high pressure collapsing on Tuesday alone. Low pressure in for the rest of the week with spells of wind and rain in from off the Atlantic. It looks very unsettled throughout much of uh, next week. Into next weekend, uh, a little bit different with the ESA, trying to build up high pressure over Scandinavia uh, and block off the Atlantic. So it's not as chilly, not bringing like a northerly, northeasterly in with the ECM like do the other models. Uh, nevertheless, it's the idea that the, uh, the, the Atlantic low pressures are slowing down as so they're coming up against this blocking area of high pressure. It certainly wouldn't be all that mild, let's put it that way, around, say, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Um A proper old deluge should come tonight across many southern parts of England, Wales, and into tomorrow morning. That rain will get out of the way, bearing through those northerly winds, bringing wintry showers into the north and the east. Being dry on Monday, then low pressure back in for Tuesday, that will bring more wet weather in with it. Further smells of rain 
uh, so that we go through next week as well. We'll be very unsettled throughout uh, next week. And uh, even up towards day 10, we've got more wet weather here across the country. This is low pressure stalling as it comes up against that Scandinavian high. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 4th of April. Uh, 11 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. Winds are coming in from a westerly direction, so uh, unsettled there. 11, or another 11, with low pressure in from off the Atlantic, and quite unsettled. Some higher pressure between Greenland and uh, Scandinavia. We might start to bring the jet stream a little bit further southwards with that as well. Nine, with low pressure. Uh, actually, it's controlling the operation run, by the way. So, uh, that Scandinavian heights are jet sending uh, the jet stream low pressure a little bit further south eastwards. Uh, nine, just here, with low pressure out to our north and west, high pressure to... Our south and south means that bring up more of a southwesterly flow, that's unsettled but mild. Eight with high pressure blocking around Greenland and Iceland with low pressure to our south and east, that could be unsettled and cold. Uh, seven here with low pressure in from off the Atlantic, that looks very unsettled and uh, not that cold. And five with more low pressure uh, through the country, high pressure over France, that could be unsettled and milder. For the south. A lot of different options there. Most will involve low pressure in one form or another, so it looks quite unsettled. Uh, to be time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 9th of uh, April into the Easter weekend. We've got 19 members of the ECM ensembles with a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland ice, and low pressure is to our south and east. The winds are coming in from a cold east or northeasterly direction. Uh, with that, we've got another 19 with high pressure over France, low pressure to our north, and that's going to be bringing up wind from a westerly direction, so it's going to be milder. And then we've got 13 with high pressure over, and just to the east of the country, bringing the wind from uh, the east with that. That's going to be dry, but could be a little bit chilly uh, with wind coming in from an easterly direction. Seven speeches, barley, bits of hydrogen, middle of our high tides break down into wheat periods. The first wheat period takes from the 25th of March to the 31st. You coming in with low pressure in from off the Atlantic. Looks very unsettled. Week two will be the first to the 7th of May with high pressure towards Spain, and that's bringing up a southwest wind. That should be a little bit milder and a little bit drier, especially so for the south and for the west. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 8th to the 14th of April. High pressure centres around Iceland. Winds go into the east and to the north. East. That could be turning uh, cooler again. And then week four looks a bit grim. <laughs> this is the 15th to 21st of April with a mid Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland and low pressure over the country, jet stream down there somewhere. So uh, that looks cold and wet as we go <laughs> into the middle of April. Not great. Not great with that. But it's four weeks away, so let's not worry. And right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, then please do you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to tell your friends about guys. Well, it's thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that uh, for us. As I say, we need to put on around 13 subscribers now to get ourselves to 15.7k. So if you could give us a sub, it would be amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. Right, I've got a fifth and final video. Crazy day today. Fifth and final video coming up for you this series. The first uh, opening salvo in the uh, Easter Outlook. That will be on its way uh, a little bit later on. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. upload. We'll have the fall summer update. And if that wasn't enough, we will have a Taylor of Autumn day for you as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more content for uh, this video, though. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.